Greetings, and welcome back for another Music Theory Bite. This video is about singing scale degrees and scale degree patterns in the minor mode. Before you dive into this one, it would be a good idea for you to check out my other videos on identifying tonic, major and minor scales, and scale degree patterns in the major mode. All of those videos contain information which will be helpful for you to understand what I cover in this video. So if that sounds like something you're ready to take on, let's begin. You'll remember that in my video on scale degree patterns in the major mode, I talked about how the ability to sing and recognize scale degrees is one of the most important skills that a musician needs in order to fluently read and hear music. Why? Well, it's because most people hear music as scale degrees around an established or implied tonic. Each scale degree has a unique energy, and if we learn these unique energies, you will always know what scale degree you are hearing, and you'll be a lot more fluent when it comes to recognizing and singing music. Again, we're going to learn the unique energy of each scale degree in the minor scale by learning short melodic patterns designed to let the scale degree get back to tonic in its most typical way. It doesn't matter what key we're in, the relationships between scale degrees stays the same. In this video, we're going to stay in the key of C minor. Before we get started, a quick word about syllables. As always, I'll cover this in another video, but I'll go back and forth between numbers and solfege syllables. No system is perfect, but they all have some aspects about them that help you learn music. Use the system that makes the most sense to you, or the one that your teacher prefers. One more word, oftentimes you'll hear people refer to Do minor or La minor. That is, the tonic pitch in Do minor is Do, and the tonic pitch in La minor is La. I happen to prefer using Do minor, and so those are the syllables I will be using in this video. If your teacher prefers La minor, you'll have to do a little bit of translation from what I present here, and it's just a matter of changing some of the syllables on the scale degrees that you sing. Let's start with patterns that are identical to the patterns in the major mode. Those would be the patterns for scale degree 1, or tonic, do, the pattern for scale degree 2, or the supertonic, two, one, and remember there's an alternate pattern for scale degree 2, two, five, one, and the pattern for the raised seventh scale degree, or leading tone, T, Do. Remember that in the minor mode, scale degree 6 and 7 have two different possible positions, a raised position and a lowered position. So we'll talk about when to use those and the difference between those in a few minutes. Let's move on to patterns that are similar to their counterparts in the major mode. By similar, I mean they have the same shape and they use the same scale degrees, but the scale degrees that differ between the major mode and the minor mode are inflected to make it minor. So the first of those is the pattern for the dominant or scale degree five. Sol, me, do. Remember that the dominant has two alternate patterns. The first one, goes up the scale. In this case, it's identical to the first alternate pattern from the major mode. Sol, la, ti, do. And the second one simply jumps up from five to one. Sol, do. Again, that's identical to the second alternate pattern from the major mode. For the mediant, the pattern is simply an inflection of scale degree three moving back down to scale degree 2 and scale degree 1, very similar to how it happens in the major mode. Me, re, do. Scale degree 4, the subdominant, is also very similar to its counterpart from the major mode. Fa, me, do. The difference being instead of a half step between scale degree 4 and 3, we now have a whole step. And finally, 
the pattern for the lowered sixth scale degree, or lowered submediant, goes Le, Sol, Me, Do. Again, very similar to the pattern for La from the major mode. Let's move on to patterns that differ from their counterparts or don't show up in the major mode. Specifically, these have to do with scale degrees 6 and 7. Remember that in the minor mode, there are two scale degree 6s and two scale degree 7s, one lowered and one raised. We used the raised scale degree 7 when that pitch is supported by dominant function. We use the raised scale degree 6 as a passing tone between scale degree 5 and the raised scale degree 7 in either direction when, again, supported by dominant function. In all other cases, we'll use the lowered scale degree 6 and the lowered scale degree 7. If you don't quite understand what I'm talking about when I mention dominant function, don't worry. You're still pretty early in your theory training, and that's a topic I'll cover in a later video. So, we have two scale degrees that we haven't yet dealt with. The first is the raised sixth scale degree. It is identical to the alternate pattern for the sixth scale degree from the major mode. La, ti, do. The lowered seventh scale degree doesn't have a counterpart from the major mode. In fact, it goes the opposite direction. A general rule is, if 6 and 7 are raised, they want to keep going up, and if 6 or 7 are lowered, they want to keep going down. So the pattern for the lowered 7th scale degree, the subtonic, is Te, Le, Sol, Me, Do. The techniques you use to learn your scale degree patterns from the major mode will also work for the scale degree patterns for the minor mode. We learned a little melody that consisted of all the scale degree patterns in order when we learned the scale degree patterns for the major mode. In the minor mode, there's a similar melody, but there are differences because we have a couple of extra scale degree patterns and some of the scale degree patterns are different. So the melody sounds like this. Do, Re, Do, Me, Re, Do, Fa, Me, Do, Sol, Me, Do, Le, Sol, Me, Do, Te, Le, Sol, Me, Do, Ti, Do, La, Ti, Do, Sol, Do. And once again on numbers, one, two, one, three, two, one, Four, three, one, five, three, one, six, five, three, one, seven, six, five, three, one, seven, one, six, seven, one, five, one. You can also use some of the other techniques that you use to learn your major scale degree patterns, such as putting together random strings of numbers and convert those to scale degrees, take numbers that you know, such as your phone number, and convert that to scale degrees, convert that into, um, into a nice melody. Remember that the important thing that you're trying to figure out how to do here is to hear and sing each of those scale degrees individually. So eventually you want to get to the point where someone can shout out scale degree numbers in the minor mode and you can just pick off those scale degrees. So for example, if someone were to yell out five, five, three, three, lowered six, six, two, two, raise seven, seven, five, five, one. One. Also, just as you did with the major scale degree patterns, practice singing just the scale degree, but not the pattern that returns it to tonic, but hear that pattern in your ear. Get used to being able to just pick off any scale degree out of thin air and just produce that scale degree. You can also, if you know a song is in minor, stop a song on a random pitch and then sing the pattern that gets you back to tonic. 
Another good thing to do is practice with a friend and have them shout out scale degrees for you to use and sing those scale degrees. And remember, practice, practice, practice every day for a few minutes. Learning your scale degrees and your scale degree patterns will be one of the most useful and valuable things that you can do as you are learning to read and understand music. Well, that's it. If you found this video helpful, please like it and please subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave constructive comments below. Until next time.